Hello and welcome to Do It. I am Anders and today we are going to be putting the two top rated 3D printers on Amazon to the test. In the foreground we have the Monoprice 15365 and in the background we have the CR10. So this is the CR10 unboxing and usually when something this awesome comes in I want to attack it like a six year old on Christmas morning. However, I would strongly recommend that you go about this unboxing with great care. Number one, because there are damages that happen in the shipping process. And number two, if you save the box and the foam parts, then you will end up loving yourself later if something goes wrong. In the literary world, that's known as foreshadowing. What happened? Well, you'll just have to stick around and see. So you can see that everything is clearly labeled and it goes together quite easily and I was thrilled. I was excited to get this printer up and going as fast as possible and put that huge print bed to use. However, this particular printer uh, had a little trick up its sleeve. Instead of printing, it played a little music for me that sounded like all of my dreams crashing in a single second. So I was a little heartbroken. I thought I might have been out of $400, but what I did was I just packed it back up in a box. And I kept all the foam and yeah, I just taped it up, dropped it off at the UPS store, and I had the money back in my account at the end of the week. I ordered another one. It came and the setup process was the same. I followed all of the same steps and uh, it took me about 30 minutes. Was it a little bit of a pain? Yeah. Was it a headache to kind of have to pack everything and send it back? Absolutely. Is the end result worth it? I think so. Um, this one, I was kind of bracing myself again. You know, went through the easy DIY process, wondering, it's like, wow, is this like the materials that was made or the way it was put together or, or is there something wrong um, with the place that sent it to me? and after 35 minutes it was working beautifully so um, if you get a bad one just make sure that you save the box and you won't be out of four hundred dollars maybe out of a little bit of time but i think in the end it's totally worth it so now let's do some side by side comparisons this is the mono price 15 365 and out of the box this is two minutes after i have it and it's already set up and it's ready to go. Um, the hardest part is leveling the bed. But even if you've never had a 3D printer before, the interface is um, bright, it's easy to navigate, and you can be printing within 10 minutes. Um, so if you are looking for something out of the box, ease of use, uh, it's hard to get really any better than the sturdy frame of the Monoprice 15365.
So one of the best torture tests on 3D printers is 3D printing moving parts. And this is supposed to be a gyroscope. You can tell that it's not really moving at all. To get it moving uh, is going to take a lot of work and maybe a little bit of sanding. That was on the mono price. This is the CR10. Right off of the print bed it moves and does an amazing job. The other noticeable difference is that on the mono price, you have these very clearly defined print lines. That is not so noticeable on the CR10. This torture test kind of goes um, in order from largest to smallest, and at a 0.5, uh, it does move on the mono price. However, you flip down to a um, 0.3 spacing on these bearings um, they are fused together so the accuracy is not as great however using the CR10 we could move all the way down to 0.2 and even though there was a little bit of resistance the parts could still move So if you are looking for a printer solely based on price, I would definitely recommend going with the mono price, coming in at almost half the price of the CR10. However, if you want to build larger models, then the CR10 is definitely for you with 20 times the print volume available on the mono price. Printer speed, this can change based on your speed settings in Cura. I just found the optimal settings for each ones uh, on the internet and then printed the same things head to head and the CR10 ended up being about twice as fast with those settings. So um, if you are looking for a speedy printer um, that prints well, definitely go with the CR10. However, um, if you're looking for an easy setup time, the mono price definitely takes that. It's ready right out of the box. Print quality is good for the mono price, but if you're looking for um, 3D printed objects that can move and you can manipulate in the real world, then you should definitely go with the CR10. However, the interface is not as great in the CR10. The mono price has a beautiful color LCD. Um, and it's definitely clear and user-friendly. However, um, the durability uh, is that this is something that's being transported or in a place like a, a workshop that could be um, potentially dinged up a little bit. Um, the mono price is a tank and I um, would definitely go with that. Bought two of them right out of the box. They're great reliable printers that do exactly what you would think that it would do every time. Long story short, you can't go wrong with either of these printers. In my classroom, we are using, to, using these to build bridges, and testing the bridges just happens to be a lot easier when the bridges are bigger. So that puts us squarely in the CR10 category, but we also use the mono price for other things as well. If you like this video, we encourage you to hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, smash the thumbs down. And if you want to have more content like this, we are coming out all the time with new ideas and new projects. So if you like reviews, uh, CNC machines, 3D printing, we are your channel. So hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.